this experience while attempting to just walk through a hotel that's generally open to the public. Well, that's what we did. We Well, first we went in through the convention center, just to check it out, and uh, they were allowing all the other media in there, so we figured, hey, we're allowed to be here, we're media. Um, and then we just decided we'd scope out the uh, the back area and see if we could figure out where the motorcades are going to be pulling in. Um, so we went through the hotel. Uh, as soon as we got down into the hotel lobby, we uh, stepped out into the back parking lot, and that's where there's tons of Secret Service down there. It had to be about seven or eight guys at least. Uh, and that's when one of the main ones came up to us and said, what, what are you guys doing? You're, you're going to have to leave. You can't be in here with cameras. Be in here. I don't know. You're staying in the hotel? No, no. Just pass it through. Back All right, well, walk at that. You got to get through. You can't, you can't loiter you can't in the hotel. Can't here? No. Nope. Oh, okay. No, nope. can't loiter in the hotel. Okay. No problem. We, we didn't cause too much of a problem, we just said okay, we'll leave. Uh, he followed us all the way out and uh, got on the phone right away and before we knew it we had two more Secret Service guys on our back and they followed us down uh, the entire walkway here at the front of the convention center. Um, so yeah, that's what we just went through. There's tons of Secret Service all over the place. So that's what's going on here today. I had told, it's, it's obviously a provocateur. Right. Right, and what they were saying is that I was going to rush that building, run in there, grab George Bush, and hang him. So where, nah. where, where's where the, the hell did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's the rope? Yeah. I wouldn't waste good rope. All right, so it's Dan from Press for Truth, pressfortruth.ca, sitting here uh, speaking with uh, Splitting the Sky, a well-known uh, Canadian activist from uh, out of Calgary who is here to uh, show his discontent about uh, Bush being here. Um, how you doing today, man? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. It almost wasn't, uh, it almost started off pretty bad here for me. Yeah. Um, as I was sitting over here, um, I had two head security guards, uh, security officers, RCMP, come over to me, and they told me they were going to talk to me very quietly, and I said, yes, uh, what's, the, what's the problem? And they said, uh, we have a report from one of the officers over here that you uh, had told him that you're going to go to that building over there where George Bush and Bill Clinton are, and you're going to go inside there and you're going to grab George Bush and you're going to hang him. I, I said, well, yeah, well, it's obvious to me that you got a provocateur feeding you information so that you can find an excuse to arrest me and pull me from this crowd. I said, and the reason that you're doing that is because you know what I did in Calgary. And on March the 17th, I attempted to break the police line to arrest George Bush for torture and murder, war crimes, and that he should not be allowed into this country as a, war, as a, as a self-admitted war criminal, and that goes for Bill Clinton today. Well, we definitely like to commend you for your terrific work, and we uh, we hope you keep up everything you're doing. In light of the, the the provocateur threats that you got today, well, I can let you know we certainly got your back. We got a lot of cameras, so we'll make sure if anything goes down, we'll catch it. Especially in light of what went down in Montebello with the provocateur incident yes. there, we're very clear that they're quite capable of uh, screwing things up for us. So and, uh, we got your back. This camera is our greatest weapon. It's a weapon of truth. Well, we'll certainly be keeping a close eye on things today. Thanks for speaking with us. Thank you and. Peace out. 9-11 was an inside job. 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 Was an inside job. VJ Sarma. How's it going, VJ? Uh, I am excellent. Tell us uh, a little bit about what you are doing here today. Well, I took a couple hours off work because I feel it's really important to represent uh, how Toronto feels about uh, things like Bush and Clinton coming to uh, war criminals by, uh, by any definition if you look at the facts. And uh, so it's important for us uh, as a city to have people in this city show that there are people in this city who care about these issues uh, enough to demonstrate on the streets and of course to keep the idea of protest alive. Uh, it's not alive very much in conversations, uh, so what we have to recognize is that uh, as long as other people see people doing it uh, in, in a constructive way, in a productive way, in a peaceful way, in an effective way, then we'll keep the idea alive in their minds and they might think of doing it about issues they care about. Considering we have uh, past presidents for both uh, Republican and Democrat, uh, could this maybe be a good opportunity to tell people about the false uh, left-right paradigm, the whole idea of the two wings of the same bird. Uh, the whole thing's a scam. It's like a giant wrestling match. Can you speak to that? 
Absolutely. Uh, essentially, Professor, Professor Carol Quigley, who was Bill Clinton's mentor at Georgetown University, wrote a book called Tragedy and Hope and another one called The Anglo-American Establishment. And he was privy to the Council on Foreign Relations, a big think tank of the business and political elite in America. He was privy to their papers. And uh, he basically said and sourced the fact that the establishment, quote unquote, the Anglo-American establishment, wanted to run a dialectic system to trap the people between two choices. So they would always choose either left or right when they made their political decisions. And then they, the people at the top, would control both left and right. Absolutely. And especially considering we have two of the biggest players in this whole left right scheme here today. Uh, today certainly seems to be a good day to uh, to expose the, the lies for, uh, for what they are. Absolutely, and I'm hoping these people here who know what they're talking about for the most part with respect to this issue uh, find ways to share this information in a variety of ways with the rest of the public. So it'll be more about how we get together, we confirm our numbers, we confirm there are passionate people in this city, hundreds of them at least, who are willing to demonstrate on the streets about these things, and then we leverage that uh, into, uh, into even more actions going forward. Thanks a lot for talking to us. Thank you. who actually run the world, yeah. who live in a pyramid. That's exactly it. Okay. Yep. Michelle, this, this was the uh, death of a uh, nation's yeah, deathbed. Nation's death yeah. Thank you so much for doing the work that you do. You stopped watching TV three months ago. There is no left, there is no right. They're on the same team. Come on, people, we all know it. We ain't that dumb. I'm getting upset now. I've never done this before. It feels really weird to be standing here with a freaking homemade sign from Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't know what to do anymore, but this is what I'm this is what I'm forced to. This is what I never thought in my lifetime I would have to do this. I never thought in my lifetime I would be forced to do this. I thought it was for activists, but guess what? I'm a human being, and that's a reason enough to be an activist now. And a peaceful protester, by the way. When you wake up, you really and you see things clearly. It's very sobering. And I'm not all buzzed out on the dream anymore. The dream is a lie. The dream is a lie. Well, that's exactly why we call it waking up, right? I sobered up, man. Yep, the dream is a up. lie. It's like you snapped out of the hypnotized state. Absolutely. You know you what? Film, Thank so you, you so much. Nice you are the reason why I'm here. Oh. I s literally, we saw your film probably like last weekend or maybe the weekend before probably no more than 10 days ago oh, awesome. and i was i was yeah, yelling at the tv i was yelling YouTuber. i was yelling at the tv oh and then i i checked out montebello i checked out the provocateurs etc etc yeah what do you see his new one i can't wait i can't wait i really admire your work i really do great thank you very much Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Keep it up. Yes.